We're gonna learn how to make these dyed coffee filter flowers. I like to use these to decorate a gift for a friend or just put them in a little vase on their desk to brighten their day. We're gonna need coffee filters, food coloring, some containers to mix the food coloring in, a tray to dry the coffee filters on, and we're also gonna use floral wire, wire cutters, and some wrapping paper or decorative paper to cut our little leaf shapes out of. Let's get started. So I'm just gonna pour a little water in the containers. I'm gonna use purple and I think we'll use some teal. The more dye you put in there, the brighter and more saturated the color will be. All right, so you can take a few coffee filters at a time. I like to fold them, makes it easier to dip and it also makes the color like a little bit more random and organic. Okay, now we're gonna unfold it, lay it flat to dry on the tray. It takes five coffee filters for each flower. So here are some coffee filters that I dyed yesterday. So what we're gonna do to make the flower now is take three coffee filters, kind of like offset them a little bit, fold it in half, and in half again, and then twist it at the bottom here. Okay, then we're gonna take another coffee filter and kind of gather it up around that little bundle that you just made. And we're gonna do that one more time. So that's coffee filter number five right now that we're working on. And we'll twist it again really good at the base so that they're all gathered in there and it's not gonna come apart. Now we're gonna take a piece of floral wire, wrap it around the base really tightly so it doesn't come apart. And we'll just take that little end that's left and wrap it around too. So there's our flower. I've cut some simple leaf shapes out of this Hallmark wrapping paper and to put it onto the flower we're just going to cut two tiny slits about oh a quarter of an inch apart from one another I'd say but they're like really tiny just wide enough for the wire to fit through. Now I'm going to use the flower to make a simple gift bag a little more special. So let's just put the flower on here, snip that off with some wire cutters. Now we'll just take a little piece of washi tape, tape the stem on, and then you can secure the top of the flower with a little bit of double stick just so that it lays nicely. And I'll just write a little message on my leaf. There we go. It's ready for a present simple, pretty, personal touch for that special person that always notices the details. Mm -hmm.